imagine that your application is running and the URL is something like sell item item ID slash confirmation. And you would like to confirm the ID, but you don't have the ID itself. So first thing you want to get the location and the path name argument means I don't need the full URL. I just need the path name part of it. So the trick is because you don't see the actual value is to add an assertion. For example, should be a string. In this case, it shows the actual string in the command log. So you see it. But what if we're waiting for the URL to change? Well, just string, it was a string. After it changed, it still is a string. So what I like doing with a path name is to match a regular expression. Of course, we can just say include and then just give, let maybe sell item. But include as a substring doesn't really confirm the value completely. So instead, I like using match. So in this case, we need to pass a regular expression. That means we have to escape the forward slashes. So sell, escape, slash item, and then item ID is a number and several times, so a couple digits, and then confirmation. And I think that's the end of this regular expression. Remove extra. Okay, well, not only we're we showing the value, we're saying it matches the regular expression. So if something goes wrong, it will be easy to debug what has gone wrong. But let's say we want to actually get this ID that's, we know it's a couple of digits long and it follows item, but before the slash confirmation part. Well, after we confirm that it matches the regular expression, then the location is a string. So we can invoke match method. And then we pass the same regular expression right here. If you look at the DevTools console right here, and you click on invoke, this yields you the full string and then the input. And we didn't have any groups. So if you want to capture the ID itself, we have to surround it with parentheses. And then all of a sudden we get this captured value right here. But, you know, grabbing it by index is kind of unwieldy. So in JavaScript now you have a concept of capture groups and they're named. So what do you have to do? You add a question mark and then in angle brackets you say, for example, ID. And if you click on invoke, you will see that it yields now property groups ID and then that part of a string. Perfect. So from this object, we need to grab its groups and then the name ID. And because this will never change after we confirm it, we can set timeout to zero so it doesn't try to retry. Okay, well, we don't know what's happening. So again, we can print it by using an assertion. Should be a string. So we see 10001. Okay, so let's say that we want to use this ID later. We can store it as an Alice. And we can say as item ID. And a lot of people ask like, well, once you have an Alice, what do you do with it? You can add all different sorts of commands. And later you might say, okay, I need this Alice value back. So let's say, okay, uh, printing the ID, right? Anytime after any, you know, series of commands, you can say then, and instead of error function, use a function callback, which has the actual function. In this case, the ls value will be available as a property of this object, item ID. So for example, here we can say scilog and then a template item ID is and maybe just print it to a command log item ID. And we don't even have to use this item ID. If you just want to get its value and confirm it and convert it, you can say, get me the earliest value using add item ID. You know, you can say it should be a string or you can directly convert it to a number. And for example, confirm that the ID is within some range, be within and let's say larger than a thousand, but smaller than 20,000.
perfect. You can see that we got the alias value and we confirm the value to be a certain range. So this is how you get the part of your URL. Make sure it actually matches what you think it should be. Extract by using a regular expression and name capture group. So you grab a part of that URL and then you can store it so that later you can use it in any form or shape you want.